stuff up in. So if you ever want to do an L.A. game, boom, right there. So, as you can see, 280, Highway 280, downtown Santa Jose, where all the good stuff happens. It's getting just about to turn and take one of the two exits that we get down to downtown San Jose. As you can tell, it's about 5 o'clock and everybody is going home or they're going to the game. So the traffic is a mess, but considering we left about not even 45 minutes ago, not bad. So you take Guadalupe Parkway. There it is. HP Pavilion at San Jose, otherwise known as the Shark Tank. So, my regular camera decided to die on us, so I'm doing this with my phone here. But this is still West Santa Clara Street. As you can see, there's all kinds of restaurants and bars, and we'll walk by those or go in there for a little bit. But this is the main spot where everybody will hang out, is San Pedro Square. But yeah, there's a number of restaurants and bars in here. All kinds left and right. O'Flaherty's is the one I've always told you to about. That's a very good restaurant. Yeah. Alright, so we are here on San Pedro Square. As you can see, they have a number of bar and grill lots restaurants. Of bars. Lots and lots of okay. bars. Yeah, plenty of bars <laughs> around. Yes. So you can have a shot at each and every one of them and be drunk by the time you get to the end of the street. We kid you not. <laughs> You've now made it a personal goal of mine. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, you guys, you ladies have a drinking buddy if you ever come out here. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> I feel a bit British today. Uh, yes, it's a British bit, uh, but there is a there is a British pub and paw later on the tour. First and foremost, we are hungry, so we're going to eat at one of our favorite places, Peggy Sue's, which of course is right next to an Irish pub. Oh, Flaherty's. We'll check back in a little bit later. Alright, so we're in downtown San Jose. Before I run myself over with the violence, shadow turn. 
so not much on the other side, but we're uh, taking our usual, what, about a half mile walk to entry? Yeah, around that. Alright, so you take your half mile walk from, from the parking spot, you know, cheaper and a little better. Moscow's Brewing Company, very, very swing, very shrewd, really fancy, fancy, supposedly Brody Brazil goes in there. Uh, and here, this is the Brit, otherwise known as Britannia Arms. Uh, and here, I guess no, they're, they're having uh, dinner, but in here they have, uh, uh, this is Owen Nolan's bar. You didn't catch that. It was Owen Nolan's bar. Owen Nolan's bar. One of the greatest sharks ever. Don't ask what that is. But we don't know either. We don't know either. It's been known for many people in the sharks fam to be called that, calling that the butt statue near the shark tank. Why it's there, we don't know. But it is there. Anyways. We're further down... As we head closer and closer to the shark tank, as you, you can see here, you can start to see hints of the HP Pavilion, the elusive HP Pavilion, where these things called shark spans tend to gather. Now, step a little bit closer and you'll start to see more shark spans gathering around the what they call the shark tank. Oh. Thank you very much, Crocodile Hunter. Yes. It is HP Pavilion. Absolutely. Oh, oh. look at that. Opened in 1993, took years to get okayed by voters, but we have it, it's here, and it is one of the loudest rinks in the National uh, Hockey I'm League. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, THE loudest rink right. in the National Hockey League, right. not one of, because we, we, we take it over anytime. Exactly, and especially come playoff time. That 120 was, decibels. That's what we got up to. I think, what was it for the... Game one. Com- game one game of one. the conference semi... Quarter, no, it was the quarterfinals against the Los Angeles Kings. Oh, yes. And it got to 122 after Joe Pavelski got the overtime winning. Right, in game one. Little did you know, this is where the rainbow kind of shoots from the star and it goes, now you know. Oh, I thought you were going to say double rainbow all the way. No... Oh. Nonetheless, we are here at HP Pavilion at San Jose, home of your San Jose Sharks. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yes, this is our second home, technically. So, as you can see, we're way early. I guess we ate too fast. <laughs> so, we'll do well, a little... Su- you did give me your food. And you know how it was. Right, and he pretty much devours it afterwards. I didn't afterwards. food, yeah. Uh oh, I'm getting tackled. Hi. Hi. I'm doing a video for, for a couple of sharks. Wait, wait, no, come back here. Come back here. No, come back here. All right. I am Black Guy 14. This is Team Niemi Club on Twitter. This is for uh, two friends in Toronto uh, oh, Allison McDevitt and Row 1521. Uh, We're trying to convince them to come out here during the playoffs. Why, why do you get to convince them? Weather's better. Exactly. See? Yeah. That's all I have to say. So, thank you. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Do a tweet up? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hi, here you go. Take care. Uh, there's Jamie Baker. Jamie Baker. Uh, not a big deal or anything. He, is, he only scored the greatest goal in Sharks history. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Let me get to my car. Pardon me. Sorry. Ah, oh, that's where I parked the thing. I know, right? Very oh, nice geez. car. But oh, what... Sorry. Why the hell is it red? I mean, really, why would we have it red? That thing needs to be teal. Oh, that's why it's only, that's why it's in red. Only $172,000. No! Anywho. We will head, we will head to our line at the Shark Tank in a moment, but of course... I couldn't get, stop the tour unless we stopped at the world him, famous teal bag clad shark store. Now it's not open until the arena opens up. So there's 
all the good stuff. We might have to go in a little bit just to show it around. But for now, we're about to get in line so we can get in and freeze our butts off. So this is our toy store and pretty much where everything comes from. This is my section. Yes, sure. he, he's into hats and hoodies. I mean, it's everything that's sharks and teal. So, I'll give you a quickie tour. But the arena just opened up and it's busy as heck in here. So, this is the shark store. So we're entering it. Are you going to get it? Yeah, I got it. So we're entering it. I'm going to make sure I don't fall. <laughs> As we enter the shark tank, you can see they have a little garage here. Up back here, usually, we often put a nice big banner up. So, and over to the right, we were just in there. That was the shark store. Surprisingly, I'm coming out of it empty handed. <laughs> shocker. Now, usually, what people don't know is that the line to the shark store sometimes runs up the length of these stairs. Exactly. Rather hilarious. Hilarious. No, that ain't. Get your fan photo taken. Which you know you're gonna do. Eventually. Yes. Yeah. When you come out here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a look around. Welcome to the Shark Tank. Everything's on one level here. Nothing up and downstairs, except if you go up in the suite. It's gotta be. So we'll just go through a quick little tour, walk around, and then we're gonna go to Plenty our... of eats. Plenty of eats. If you're hungry, so you can eat the game. So yeah, during the game, because the sharks are playing poor, thanks to their penalty kill, they have that too. Okay, maybe not the smoothies, but you get the idea. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he has bought in half of the store and he sent it to you during that. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty much the Hello again. So we are in our traditional uh, warm-up seats. Yeah, traditional. We wish they, these would be our traditional right. seats. Absolutely. But unfortunately, uh, we haven't won the lottery yet. So, yeah, in, the meantime, on that. in the meantime, we'll show you the view from the seats where they're at. And, and here, the, oh, look, we're behind the shark's bench right now. Yeah. So, give you a nice little spot. This is probably making, you could probably hear them go, oh, yeah. right now. They're, they're yeah. uber shells. <laughs> There, I don't know if you guys get the pre-game or post-game live feed from Comcast, but back where that light is at is where they do the uh, do the pre-game and post-game shows. From there, uh, up top are the nine uh, banners we have. Uh, still missing that Stanley Cup one. We're working on that. Of course, you can see the freaking scoreboard from here. So there's that, and then just pan around. Coach McClellan, Jay Woodcroft, that's the PR guy, Tom Holy, and of course there's Brody. The guys are warming up, getting ready, hopefully kick some ass against Dallas.
score by number 39.